Welcome to Simeon Panda's Gold's Gym. The only home Gold's Gym in the entire world, which means it is the best home gym in the entire world. To be the best gym in the world, it has to have the best equipment you can get. Every piece of equipment in this gym is by Gym 80. Now, if you don't know about Gym 80, you're not training in the right places. They are the world's leader and innovator in fitness equipment. In the 21 years I've been training, I have visited many, many gyms around the world. I get. It's safe to say that if you don't know what my favorite muscle group to train is, taking a look around my gym will answer that question very easily. So I ran across this video online, wanted to do a quick critique and review. So this is Simeon Panda's brand new gym, all Gym 80 equipment, by the way. I'm not sure what subsidy he got from them. Um, so this right here, I'm just going to highlight a few of the pieces. Their leg press, I think, is probably one of their coolest looking pieces. I've not personally tried it. Would love to try it. Um, I looked at the price tag, though. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, this is their belt squat. Um, some other cool pieces he's going to show you. I believe he says he has about 15 to 16 machines in his gym. Um, eight of them of which are legs. Um, but from the perspective of Gym 80 equipment, they, there's a few pieces I think look the most unique, the leg press being one of them. I'm not sure it's worth the eleven, twelve thousand dollars $12,000 price tag though. Um, again, it's hard for me to come from a place to say, hey, one brand of equipment has all of the best machines. Um, it just doesn't happen. You know, obviously he's paid to say this. He's paid to be sponsored by them. Um, I'd love to know what kickback he's getting, what deal he got on the equipment. Um, but he's obviously he's going to come out and say, hey, my I'm the best gym in the world. I'm sponsored by Gym 80 and Gold's Gym. Um, look at my cool gym. And it is cool because he has all matching colors. It's very new feeling. Um, it's not an old school job gym. It's, it's new. So I, I do think it's a, a cool setup. Uh, I, I do think there's much lacking. This actually is one of the pieces that looked the most interesting to me from Gym 8. I have not tried it. It looks very similar to Panada's piece, uh, although the chest pad is not adjustable, which could be cool. This right here is actually the other, the other one. I actually looked up and talked to a guy about getting this, the U.S. dealer. I think they're wanting like 5000 bucks for it, so I don't, I'm not sure it's worth that, but this is this lateral, see the lateral machine. It doesn't have a chest pad, which for some reason doesn't make sense but it does look cool that's one of the machines i'm interested in getting their dip machine looks pretty neat too where the handles adjust there's no linkage or leverage so it's just kind of a, a seesaw swivel however so i'm not sure there's anything special or new so from my perspective the, the three of the most unique gym 80 pieces look like the leg press that chest supported row and the seated lateral raise um which look pretty cool but anyways again hard from my perspective to say hey you got the best gym in the world because you have all the same equipment from the same manufacturer. It looks cool. It's sexy. It's, um, I personally prefer the old school feel. I personally prefer hand selecting every piece of equipment. Um, it's just, it's just really hard to say one brand of equipment, uh, has all of the best pieces. And I just think Jim 80, like Panada, they have some good equipment, but they're just way overpriced. I'm not sure uh, that the quality or whatever justifies that uh, much of a price difference from what you can find on the used market. Again, that's my experience. Uh, tell me what you guys think. Again, it's a cool gym. He's got uh, lots of cool things in there, but from my perspective, uh, it leaves much to be desired.